Hey there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. All right, which would you rather work with? Images or blocks? All right, I'm pretty sure you said blocks because we are pros at inserting blocks, am I right? And yet we still have to work with images from time to time. Sometimes we work with the same image over and over again. Oh, what a pain. All right, so why not convert those images that you use frequently into a block. What? I know, I'm a genius. Come on, let me help you save some time. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This works great with logos, by the way. In fact, that's what we're gonna use for this example. So here I'm in an empty drawing, nothing up my sleeve. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to attach the image of my logo. Let's go ahead and attach image. And here it is, new logo, open. Now, you can insert it and then manipulate it to have it be the size that you most frequently use at the rotation angle that you most frequently use to save it as your block, or you can manipulate it here. I happen to know the size I need it to be, so I'm gonna go ahead and type it in, but you're probably gonna need to manipulate it afterwards because heaven only knows what those images look like when they come in. Am I right? That's the problem. I already know, so I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it, and I'm gonna give it a scale factor of 1.75 because I've already, it's not my, not my first rodeo. All right, that looks great, that's the right size. And like I said, you can do it after the fact as well. All right, now what? Now I'm gonna turn it into a block that I can use in any drawing, so of course that's going to be a W block. Let's go ahead and select the base point. Uh, hello, Lynn, where are your object snaps? There we go. And I'm gonna select the objects, that's easy enough. There we go. And what are we gonna call it? Let's not call it new block. That's not very creative. Let's call it something that makes sense. Let's call it my logo. You could call it my logo 90 because it's like that. Let's do it. My logo 90 because I rotated it 90, right? I think that's even a better name. So you have some idea that it has a rotation angle attached to it. All right, there we go. Good, done. Piece of cake, I'm ready to go. All right, now let's go ahead and go into a drawing with the title block and let's just try this baby, shall we? Now I'm in AutoCAD 2020, so when I go into the insert command, I'm gonna get the new block palette. Those of you not in AutoCAD 2020, it's gonna work just as well inside the regular insert command, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and tell it that I don't need to rotate it because I already have it rotated. And I'm gonna click on these three dots, which are called ellipses just in case you guys are on AutoCAD Jeopardy. And there's my logo 90. Let's go ahead and open that baby and pull it over, drag and drop it. There it is. Look at that, yay! I'm actually gonna turn off my object snaps here. And voila, piece of cake. Easy, 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 that's what I like. Makes my life easy. So I highly recommend to you that if you have images that you use multiple times, hey, turn those babies into blocks. It's gonna make your life a lot easier, all right? I hope you learned something this week, and I look forward to seeing you in two more weeks. Give it a try, save yourself some time. That way you can sit back, kick back, put your feet up on the desk, and enjoy your life, all right? Take care.